the gospel and and if we have that faith as the bible says as a grain of a mustard seed we can do great things and some of you all will know this ministry is not only uh, made an impact here in this community but we've done some work uh nationally but even more so internationally uh and one of the countries that we've had a chance to go into and minister into is not only south africa kenya uh and peru but also uh, India, and we've had ongoing work there. So behind the scenes, whether you all know it or not, uh, there is a team of people that even help produce and put out matter in the morning each and every day. Some of you all may have noticed that sometimes I don't come on live, uh, but I the message still goes out each and every day without fail. And so the long short of the story, uh, and I appreciate you all indulging me this moment, because you know, we're getting right into the word. So just give me one more moment and we'll we'll give you that word on this morning. But Shirley is getting married on today. And over in India, they have arranged weddings. You all may or may not know that, but they have arranged weddings. And uh, each family has to generally the, the wife of the bride or rather the, the bride, uh, the family of the bride have to has to uh, really bear the brunt of all the expenses for the wedding. And this, the Bancayo Laparte family um, has devoted their family life uh, and efforts to the building of the kingdom and ministry work. They partner with us, but they don't um, get a lot of funds or anything of that nature. And it's going to be a major setback on that family. And we have not raised an offering for them yet with all of this time. And so I want to uh, charge each and every one of you all. Some of you all may or may not know that money that, that's sown into this ministry, there's nobody that's on a salary as it were. We do sow seeds to some of our partners overseas. Uh, and that's one of the families that we support with some of the funds that come in, but they have a large, huge, major expense. Uh, and her father is a full-time minister, Brother Von Laparte. And so we ask all of you all today, right? If you haven't used that cash app yet today, today needs to be the day. Right. Uh, we're raising an offering today. All right. So I'll come back again about this at the end. But make sure that you go into the description of this video. I need you, each and every one of you, all of you all who are on here now. I don't ask you all for much, but I'm asking you today, not for myself, but for the kingdom work of God to sow a seed. And everything that you all give on this morning is going to go to the Bancario La Parte family over in uh on gold india okay so i ask that you all do that all of our friends today so if you all of y'all have a debit card all you have to do is click on that paypal link if you don't know how to do it there's no excuses get somebody young to help you uh, then nobody's going to take your information um so please we ask that you sow a seed on this morning some of y'all even on this line sister mary oates gave a hundred dollars immediately when you were in bible class and i mentioned it so God bless all of you all who have already been like pace setters, Sister Carter, 
um, and some of you all who have done a great job of stepping up to the plate. My family has and will. So we ask that you all do the same. Her wedding again is today. Um, and uh, I'm, I'll be a part of the ceremony. We'll be streaming it live this evening. Let's get to the word. Build the kingdom. Build the kingdom. Come on, type it in. Build the kingdom. Right. So this morning, 2 Samuel chapter 7, the Bible says this. 2 Samuel chapter 7. After the king was settled in his palace and the Lord had given him rest from all his enemies around him, he said to Nathan, the prophet, here I am living in a house of cedar. Right. I'm living large while the ark of God remains in a tent. Right. And so the, the ark of the covenant uh, was moving around and it was the tabernacle from place to place using tents. Right. So he said, look, I'm living large and, 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 and God's place is in a tent. So verse number three, Nathan replied to the king, whatever you have in mind, Go ahead and do it for the Lord is with you. I want to challenge you this morning to build the kingdom. Build the kingdom. You may say, why do we need the kingdom? The kingdom is very important to everything that we do. Look around the world today. One of the things that we need more of is the effect of God's power operating in this world. This world is chaos. Ever since sin entered into the world, people have been doing whatever they're big and bad enough to do. And that's where all of the, the sin and the strife and the hell that's coming here on earth is coming from. It's coming from us doing what we want to do, being selfish instead of doing what God has called us to do and sowing into God's uh a process so that we can do what he's telling us to do, right? The way of the transgressor, the Bible says, is hard. The wages of sin is death. God would have us to know that when we go out there and do our own thing, there's a price to pay. But I want to challenge us to build the kingdom and don't forget. Don't forget. Come on, type that in as well. Don't forget. Don't forget. Don't forget. Don't forget. I want to challenge you for these uh, a few things. I, I want to challenge us not to forget as we build the kingdom. We need to build the kingdom of God. It's what helps us. Many of us grew up around the church or even in the church. And when God's word went into our hearts, when we were out there doing our own thing, sometimes that Holy Spirit came back to us. Why? Because the word was implanted in our hearts. Okay, I can remember Sister Michelle going to church and even going to sleep on the pew. But I thank God as I was talking about this, even to our, our, our youth in the church, sometimes they don't even know if you're just sitting there and you're hearing God's word and it's getting into your heart, it's going to be there. What goes in, it's going to come out. God has already told us even his word. His word will not come back to him void. If it goes out, it's going to do what it says it's going to do. It's going to help. It's going gonna, it's gonna to provide medicine. It's going to be light to a dark world. So we need to do our part to build the kingdom. Number one, don't forget that you're blessed. Come on, type it in. I'm blessed. Hallelujah today. I am blessed. When I when I when I when I'm tempted to have a pity party, or when you're tempted to have a pity party, I want you to remember how blessed you are. I'm blessed. I'm better than blessed. Even in my worst times, I'm still better off than many people that I know. I'm blessed on today. When I look back over my life and I see if I, that I didn't get what I deserve, I know that I'm blessed on today. You see, David had that same process as a shepherd boy on the backside of the desert and God pulled him. I, he could have pulled any of his brothers, but he chose him. He went up and God protected him against the lion and the bear. God protected him while he was uh, just the, the, low, the low person on the totem pole, looked after him and elevated him, prepared a table before him in the presence of his enemies, lifted him up while other people were talking about him. Anybody else got a testimony like that? I'm blessed. I know that God has brought me. I know that God protected me when I was out there uh, over in Natchez, Mississippi as a teenager doing whatever I was big and bad enough to do. God looked out for me. God looks out for fools and children. But God took care of me. I remember making mistakes and doing stuff I had no business doing, doing my own thing instead of doing what God, but God still gave me grace and mercy to get what I didn't even deserve. He gave to me some of the things that he put in my mind, uh, in my heart that he was going to do for me, even though I forsook him. God bless me. 
And King David had that same mentality that I want to challenge you all. Build the kingdom of God. Don't forget that you're blessed. You should build the kingdom of God. You should sow into the kingdom of God, not just your finances, but your time, your talent. You got to give something back because it, God's kingdom is what's blessing you even now. It's helped establish the kingdom of God on this earth. God has blessed you. God has given God had given David rest from all of his enemies. David had gone through a lot, but he was in a place the way he could look back and say, Lord, I know you've been so good. You watched over me all night long. You've been good. So don't forget, I'm blessed. Number two, don't forget about the kingdom business. Don't forget about the kingdom business. There is work to be done. Look in your communities. You can see the children are dying. People are shooting each other up. People are uh, lending themselves over to these habits and the challenges of the world. People are tearing other people down. We need the kingdom of God established in this earthly realm. Our families are falling apart. Divorce is at an all-time high. We need the word of God in our lives. We need to prioritize that. We need to turn, out, turn back to God, but we have to build the kingdom. Churches are closing their doors. We need to build the kingdom. Build the kingdom. There's kingdom business that has to be done here on this earth. So David took the time and said, look, I, 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 God has been blessing me. I need to turn around and bless the work of the Lord. I got to do that. Can you not see the shape that the church is in? Many of our churches, the only time that we meet is on a Sunday and maybe on a Wednesday night. What about during the week? Where is the power of the church? As it relates to the civil rights effort, the church was on the forefront. Where is the church now? As it relates to all of the issues that's going on, where is the church that you fellowship with? Are you fellowshipping with the church? Are you doing your part to build the kingdom on today? Are you present? Or are we just talking about what the church should be doing? Remember, we are the church. We are the live and stones. I'm telling you to do your part. Build the kingdom. God works through people. God works through you. God works through me on today. Don't forget about the kingdom business. Build the kingdom. And finally, don't forget to partner with the work of the Lord. Do your part. Partner. Become a partner. You're not to be one that just says uh, minister, preacher, pastor. You go out there and do all the work. No, 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 no. You need to partner with the work. Partner with the work. I want to challenge us to partner, be good partners. The king started talking to the man of God, uh, Nathan. He said to, to, to the prophet, look, I'm going to do my part. You out there preaching and teaching the word, but look at God's setup, right? This tent is going from place to place. I want to do something about it. I want to sign up, put me down to be a part. I can help. God has blessed me so much. Let me do my part to help. God has put me in position. God didn't give you uh, that job uh, just so you can have a title. Mayor, you got that job so you can help build the kingdom. Byron, you got that job so you can help build the kingdom. Sister Oates, you're in a position that you're in to help build the kingdom for such a time as this. Do your part. God has blessed you. You do your part. You got grace and mercy, even though you didn't deserve it. Do your part. Come on, type that in. Do your part. Do your part on today. We think these positions are about us. No, these positions are not about us. These opportunities are not about us. These opportunities are blessings from the Lord to make a difference. Be the light of the world, a city set on a hill that cannot be hid. There's so much work to be done. We think that the, that the pastor has the only job. No, 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 no. You have your part. Spence, you got your part. Tenacity, you got your part. Do your part. Sister Michelle, do your part. Help those children. Do your part on today. Sister Rosie, do your part when you go out there and teach those kids on today. Do your part. And so again, you partner. 
And so Nathan responded back to, to, to the king or King David, whatever you have in your mind, go ahead and do it for the Lord is with you. And I want to tell you today, God is with you. Wherever you go, whatever you do, God is with you on today. As you do what God wants you to do, <clears throat> as you put your heart, God is going to walk right alongside you. But I want to challenge you today to do your part. Don't think that it's everybody else's job. Don't think because you don't work in the church as it relates to um, a, a, a living. Don't think that you don't have your part to play. In God's kingdom, his intent all along was to, impl to, to replicate his kingdom in heaven, in earth, on earth. Do your part. So as you go out today, remember that you're blessed. And I want to challenge you not only to be blessed, but to be a blessing. Come on, type that in before we go. Be a blessing. And then when you're being a blessing, you won't have so much time to have a pity party. You won't have so much time <clears throat> because you're focused on God. And he's going to help you with the rest. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things will be added unto you. Do receive that word. Say amen. Say praise to the Lord. God bless you. As the days go by, it's a special love between my Lord and I. Keep falling in love over and over and over again. I keep falling in love with Him over and over and over and over again. I keep falling in love with him over and over and over and over again. It gets sweeter and sweeter as the days go by. It's a special love I have between my Savior and I keep on falling in love again. I keep falling in love over and over. Yes, I keep falling in love with him. You've been mighty good to me. Hey, it gets sweeter. Yes, it's a special love. Keep on falling in love, in love, over and over, again. over and over again. He keeps blessing me over and over and over and over and over again. God keeps on blessing.